My name is Takiru Morizaki. I am hard at work every day. How many times do I have to tell you, Takeru-kun? You need to think of a plan that really considers our client's point of view. Uh, sorry, ma'am. This is Sonoka Hanazono. She is our CEO. Hey, Takeru. You seem upset. Hey, Charasuke. Heard you got chewed out again. Yeah, I get so tired of how bad of an employee I am sometimes. She's so mean, though, always singling you out like that. I'm kind of grateful for it, though. Huh? Grateful? Why? I mean, she's tough on me, but she's usually right about what she's saying, so... You know, the fact that you can take it positively like that is very, uh, you. <laughs> anyway... Huh? You always seem so busy with work, but how are things going with your girlfriend? Yeah, they're alright, but I haven't been able to see Karumi because she's so busy too. Huh, that's kind of sad. But you two are going to get married in the future, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm dating my girlfriend, Karumi Shirino, and we're thinking about getting married. Karumi, Charasuke, and I all got along well in college together. After graduating college, Charasuke and I happened to start working in the same office together. I was really worried about work, but being with my best friend Charasuke really made me feel better about everything. Hmm, what should I wear? I was going out on a date with Karumi today for the first time in weeks. We were going to see a movie that I've been looking forward to for a while. I was pretty excited, but... Hmm? Huh? What's up, Karumi? What do you mean? I said I'm canceling today. Why? What's going on? Are you feeling alright? Nope. Feeling fine. Huh? Then why aren't we going? I'm just not in the mood. We can just go to the movies another day. Huh? Whatever. I just can't go today. Sorry. I didn't understand what was going on, but I had reservations to the movies, so I decided to just go alone. It's much better to go see the movies and blow off some steam instead of staying inside all day. Hmm? Is that...? <laughs> I'm sure he was surprised. He probably wasn't expecting to be cancelled last second. <laughs> you are such a naughty girl. You're the one that said to do it. I can't wait to see the look on his face. I'm so excited for Monday. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Huh? Takeru? Wh what are you doing here? That's what I want to know. You blew me off to spend the day with him. I guess I can just tell you. Yes, I'm on a date with him. Is that a problem? A, a date? You understand, right? You lose. I don't understand at all. I've been getting tired of you for a while now. Huh? You're always so stingy during dates. I told you I wanted to drink the most expensive wine, and you completely chickened out. Because the wine is too expensive. But if you have love, you should waste money on me, even if it means you're going broke. I'm thinking about how to budget correctly. I'm trying to save money to save up for our wedding. That doesn't give you a right to tell me that I can't get what I want. But Charizuki is nothing like you, loser. Of course, I'm richer than he is. Charizuki literally started at the same time as me and makes the same amount of money. But his family's wealthy, so he's got more money overall. Whatever. I'm just going to be honest with you. But I really can't handle poor people like you. <laughs> Break up with me. But, Karumi... Sorry, Takeru. You're always being scolded at work and can't beat me there either. Now your chick is mine. I guess they say survival of the fittest. You should just give up. Charasuke and Karumi had always been hanging around with each other often, and apparently mocking me from behind the whole time. <sighs> I can't focus on work right now.
The Karakun, what are you daydreaming about? Uh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Everyone went on outside sales already. How long are you going to be sitting there? I'm sorry, I'll head out right away. Hey, what about your bag? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's going on with you? How do you forget your bag? You wouldn't normally do that. Well, this is embarrassing, but... Huh? So you broke up with your girlfriend? Yeah, she dumped me. Oh, okay. Then I'll take you. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Marry me. What? Marry? My CEO, who is normally very strict on me, is suddenly proposing to me. Am I dreaming? Am I not enough? Uh, no, that's uh, totally fine, but um, how do I explain this? She's so close. I always thought she was beautiful, but I'm even more nervous when she's up in my face. I'm just a regular employee. I can't marry the CEO. What? The CEO can't marry one of her employees? I mean, I think it's okay, but this is seriously too much to be joking about Sonoka-san. Then you'll be the department manager starting tomorrow. Huh? The branch manager? Well, you're worried if you're just an employee, then this fixes it. Also, you're hardworking and passionate. I was already thinking about you working as upper management. You really thought that well of me? Yeah. You're someone that we need in our company. Th thank you. At first, I thought she was just joking with me to cheer me up, but apparently she was being dead serious. But I I'm not confident enough to be the branch manager. Don't worry, I'll show you the ropes. Huh? The ropes? What? You don't like me teaching you one-on-one? -on -one? Of course I don't mind it. I'm actually glad you'd say that to me, but... It's almost like a dream. Why would you do that for me, though? <laughs> well, good. No one is around. Huh? Uh, yeah, everyone is out on sales. I've always been interested in you. Um, in other words, I like you a lot. Huh? What? Why do you like a guy like me? I don't really understand either. I just fell for you from the moment that I saw you. But... You said you had a girlfriend, so... I was being mean to you because I wanted to try to squash any feelings for you. I see. Sorry. It's okay. But I was just so excited when I heard that you broke up with your girlfriend. Her face is a bright red. Oh, she's so cute. She's always so uptight and a hard worker, but she can be really cute. Oh, I'm sorry. We're still in the middle of the workday. It's really okay. I'm sure you thought that I was a woman without any manners because I'm saying this stuff, huh? Of course not. But I can't help it. I didn't realize she liked me this much. Hey, can we talk about this after work? Huh? Uh, yeah. I'm with the CEO in a place like this with just her. It's like a date. I just drank a little faster than usual to try to calm myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to deal with my heart now, beating at the speed of light. To Karakun, about lunch. Uh-huh, uh, ma'am? What? That bracelet. Oh, this? It's a cute stone. Why do I feel like I've seen it somewhere before? It's actually a charm. A charm? When I was ten years old, I went to the mountain in the city. I heard that there were super rare flowers there, and I just wanted to catch a glimpse. Oh, I know what mountain you're talking about. I used to play there when I was young. I see, but it was the first time I went, so I got lost. Were you okay? Well, I tripped and fell into a marsh. Huh? Luckily, I wasn't injured, but the incline was too steep, so I couldn't climb it. I moved forward through the marsh, but it just ended at a cliff, so it didn't help. I didn't know what to do, so I started crying, and I heard a voice. A voice? Yeah, a boy that I had never seen before saved me. Huh. Are you okay? Huh? I'm going to go down there, so hang on. I don't know what 
to do? I, I can't go home. You're okay. But... You know how the heels on TV are always saying that there's always a way? What? Huh? You don't really watch TV? Whatever, don't worry. If you go this way, we can, get, we can get out of the marsh. I was able to get out of the marsh thanks to that boy. He gave me this pebble as a good luck charm to not get lost again. That's this pebble, but I never had a chance to say thank you. I don't know his name, but he's my first crush. That girl was you. Huh? It was 20 years ago, right? During the summer? No way, are you? Yeah, been a minute. <laughs> Seriously? You're... you're that boy? It was a long lost memory that I had all but forgotten. I can't believe that I would run into you like this again. Thank you so much. I was so attracted to you from the moment you started working here, and I just didn't know what I should do. It was strange to think about, but I can't believe that you were that boy. Yeah, I... I guess it was. Ugh, I've fallen for you so much more now. I'm never letting you go again. Uh, I can't breathe, ma'am. I really was promoted to department manager. The current manager was going to be promoted to branch manager in a new branch, so the timing was perfect. Takeru-kun, this is your seat starting today. I can't believe that I'd ever be the department manager. Do you think that everyone will be alright with it? You're kind of quiet, but you work hard, so there should be no problems with your peers. I hope so. And just like she said, most of my co-workers were genuinely happy that I would be the department manager. All but one. Damn. Huh? This is your house. It's cute. Don't look around too much. I was gonna be going to her house after work to get one-on-one -on -one training from the CEO for my management position. What do you think is the most important thing for work? Huh, I wonder what it is. Experience and knowledge? I think that's important too, but the most important thing is communication. Communication? Yeah, I'm not perfect either. I start acting unfriendly and even rude sometimes to people that I like. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> the important thing is to look at the other person and try to figure out what they're thinking. You understand? Yes. Okay, try to figure out what I'm thinking of right now. Huh? Can you tell there's something that I really want to do right now? What? Ma'am, please! You can just call me Sonoka. We're not on company time anymore. Her one-on-one -on -one lessons were way too high level for me, so it was tough for me to keep up. But I wasn't against it at all. You seem to be getting used to the swing of things. Yes, all of my co-workers have been working hard too, so it really helps me out. But then one day, something happened. Where's Charusuke-kun? He hasn't come into work yet. Rare of him to be late. I wonder if something happened. Huh? It's from Charusuke. Yes? Yo, Big Shot Manager. What's going on, Charasuke? You're late. I quit my job, and I figured this would be my last goodbye. Huh? Quitting? Why? I can't be working under a loser like you. Sorry, but I got a lot of clients coming with me, and I'm now working for our competitors. You're kidding! You better enjoy your eval from HR this season. First season with you managing and this happens. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't pay more attention. What's done is done. Let's try to figure out what we can do going forward. We're really losing money with all of our clients that have moved away. Then how about we find more clients? But it's not that simple. There's always a way out, right? Right. We all work together as a team to start gathering new clients. Would it be alright if I just have a moment of your time? Sure. Uh huh. Thank you so much. The CEO used her connections to her fullest extent and moved so much that I wasn't sure when she was even sleeping. I think we'll survive for now. Y you seem very tired. Are you okay? I'm totally fine. 
Thanks to everyone's hard work and effort, the company was able to secure a lot of new deals with clients, and we were able to overcome this problem. Takeru, save me! Huh? What the hell are you talking about? All of the clients that I pulled from you have left me! Charaske kept making promises that he couldn't keep to try to draw the client's attention, but they found out that there were all kinds of lies within the claims that he was making. They also figured out that he had betrayed his original company, so they all stopped trusting him and left. They all eventually ended up coming back to us. I was forced to take responsibility and quit. Huh? So you're unemployed? Yeah. What about all the jewelry then? The coats? The shoes? The vacations? I can't anymore. What? No, that's unacceptable! Karumi caught wind of my promotion and started coming back to me, but... I'm sorry. I'm not interested in you anymore. Huh? Why? I'm telling you that I'll get back with you. I have someone I want to take care of. Wait! Takeru! Wait! I respect you so much, ma'am. Even this time, you were able to lead everyone to victory, and I just can't help but fall for you. So, I'm not much, but I want to continue working on myself to be a man worthy of you, so, um... In other words, I, I like you. Takeru-kun. I still have one-on-one -on -one lessons with our CEO, with Sonoka, to work on my business skills. Can you try to figure out what I'm thinking? You should be able to tell. Uh, huh? I wasn't used to this management position, but I felt like I could do it with her. <sighs> you okay? Shut up and hurry up! Hey! Yosuke is taking a beating! Who is that guy? Wow. My name is Eita. I'm just a regular high school boy you can find anywhere. <sighs> I'm so tired. Wanna swing by the arcade after school? I don't have any money, man. Hmm? What is it, Eita? Nothing. Never mind. Were you watching the tennis court or something? There's apparently someone going to states from our school. That's why they're working so hard, huh? Yeah, our MVP, Shimotani, is supposed to be doing great things or something. Huh. She must be really good. I've got time. Wanna go take a look? Nah, I can't be bothered. Let's go home. Oh, but there might not be any space to look with how many people are there right now. They're still playing? Our school is seriously full of the worst people. I mean, she's pretty cute, and there's a lot of guys after her. You can't even go out with her just by watching. How do they not get bored? The manager from the tennis club of the school is known for being very beautiful. I haven't really seen her around, but I have heard that she's so beautiful that she makes other girls around her look bland. Then one day, I was about to go home, so I passed by the tennis court. Taigi just had to leave without me. Hey, come on! Hmm? I was walking home when I heard a voice. Come on, it's not like you're dating anyone. Uh, how many times do I have to say no? Crap. Apparently, I ran into somebody asking her out. What the hell are you looking at? This isn't a show for everyone. I wasn't watching. I just passed by. Then get the hell out of here! The manager, Mami Yamakawa, was being asked out and clearly sending some SOS vibes my way. Come on, don't drag me into it. I feel like she's not really appreciating your approach. If you want to ask her out, maybe consider how she's feeling too. Why the hell do I have to hear you say that crap? I don't really have any say in this, but she's clearly scared. You're going to be rejected. The boy looked over at Yamakawa, and walked away. 
<laughs> I'm over it. You two are going to regret this. As I watched Yosuke walk away, I thought, I hope he's not going to try to bother me. Lame. A lot happened, but I can finally go home. Or so I thought. As I started walking off... Um, thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. I'm gonna go now. Ah, hang on. I was about to go home too. What? But I'm going to the station. It's fine. We're going in the same direction. That's how I ended up walking home with Yamakawa. Is he coming on to you or something? Yeah, I guess so. He won't let up at all. He just keeps asking me out. I mean, you are pretty popular. That's not true. I'm just a regular girl. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I was a little scared. I'm just glad I could help. I gotta see him during practice again, though. Ugh. He's in tennis? Yeah. You didn't know about our star player, Yosuke Shimotani-kun. Ah, that guy. Yeah, he's our MVP, so he's got a lot of status in the city. Ugh, I should just be the manager for the girls' team. Why are you even the manager? You didn't want to join the girls' tennis team? Yeah, at first I wanted to, but I'm not really athletic, and I gave up on being a player. I'm sure I won't be good even if I play. I see. You were really badass earlier, though. <sighs> Thanks. I'm gonna get on the opposite train, so... Okay. See ya. Oh yeah, I want to thank you later for saving me, so can we trade contact info? You don't need to. It's fine. Come on. I ended up trading contact info with Yamakawa-san. I can't believe that I get the contact info of the tennis club manager. My joy of adding a cute girl's contact info to my contact list was short-lived. I started having to deal with Shimotani because I helped Yamakawa. Hey! You really had to cock-block me, huh? I didn't do anything. She wouldn't answer me because of you! She most definitely did answer you. And definitely said no. What? Besides... You're just a little good at tennis. I don't see how that gives you a right to be a dick. What? You better stop talking like you know what's what! Are you jealous of me or something? Huh? How is that your conclusion? A geek like you? You'd probably be a super easy match for me in tennis. <laughs> yeah, you'd be dancing instead of playing tennis. <laughs> What are you laughing about? I'm serious, or what? You think you can win? Heh, <laughs> who knows? But you never know till you try, huh? You said it, boy. Play against me. We play a week later. First tennis court after class. You better be there. Hey, are you sure about that? He's not bluffing. He really is good. You're not going to beat him practicing a little bit. I don't know. I'll try for a week and see what happens. You'll try? Don't worry. Seriously. But... Rumor of my duel with Shimotani spread all over the school. Did you hear that Shimotani was going to play someone in tennis over the manager? Seriously? That sounds awesome! Who's the insane guy anyway? A different tennis player? It's apparently someone who's not part of a club. Seriously? How does he plan on winning at all? It had somehow evolved into a match between Shimotani and me over Yamakawa. <sighs> He's late. Bet you he ran. Don't worry. He's not that kind of guy. Hmm? What? You're his friend or something? You better be ready to pick up the pieces when I kick his ass. Ha ha ha, true. If he loses. 
What the hell is that supposed to mean? Ah, there you are! Sorry for keeping you waiting. I was getting ready. You at least look the part. Thanks. Let's get started. Are you sure about this? He's really good at tennis. It's fine. He's only gone to the state finals, right? Ata's above that. Above that? You'll see. Don't make this boring for me! Sure thing. The match started, and I returned Yosuke's serve. You're not bad! I'm glad to see you practice! Yeah, I guess it paid off. Yosuke is seriously so good! You got this, Yosuke-kun! Yosuke is pushing him, but something is weird. Oh, look at you, Miss Manager. You know how to watch your players. Shimotani's completely falling for Eita's trap. Huh? Trap? Yeah, you'll see. <sighs> what the hell? It's the first game. Why am I so tired? <sighs> you all right? You seem out of breath. Shut up! I see. I was able to really get an idea of how you like to play with that rally. Let's play. What? Hmm. Uh. 50 50. Damn it. Let's keep it rolling. I know. Wait, is he losing? Yeah. That guy just scored on him like it was nothing. And it's only the first game, but Yosuke-kun is out of breath. Yeah, that rally earlier was long. It's probably from that. Then why is that guy looking like nothing's wrong? Ah, it's over for Shimotani. What do you mean? Eita intentionally made him rally forever on the first serve so that he could wear his opponent down. He's also able to judge the person's rally characteristics. So it's two birds with one stone. He does that every time. Every time? Itakun is experienced? Yeah. He doesn't tell anyone, though. He used to play in the US, and he was even considered the prodigal child of tennis. Really? Yeah. He won a lot of championships, and they were looking forward to his future, but he lost horribly one tourney and quit tennis. But he's so good. Well, there are better players all over the world. Always a bigger fish. Game, set, Hosokawa! How? I lost? You're not bad, but there's always a bigger fish. What the hell? Who the hell are you? Just a guy who gave up on tennis. Damn it! I won't bother mommy anymore. She's all yours. Huh? I didn't make that kind of a de- Hosokawa-kun? Yamakawa? You're amazing! I was moved. I can't believe I could watch an amazing match like that. Uh, right. I'm glad, so... Can you let go of me? Huh? But I thought I was supposed to go out with the person who won. I didn't make any deals like that. At first, I didn't like it because I was treated like a thing, but... I'm okay with it if it's you. No, I didn't make any deals. I told you. I just got a little pissed off because this guy mocked me, is all. I'm done. I'm going home now. Wait, hang on. Ah, there he goes. After that match... My life completely changed. I had a quiet life, but now everyone only talks about my past and won't leave me alone. Hey, did you really play tennis in America? You were so cool! Hosokawa, you should join the tennis club! Let's go for the nationals! Shut up! You can do it! 
everyone kept asking me why I quit tennis, and they tried to get me to join the tennis club. I never should have accepted that duel. The most annoying person was this one. Uh, Hosokawa-kun. Uh, Yamakawa. Not Ugg, that's rude. We're already dating, you know. No, we're not. And I don't want to get a girlfriend just from playing an easy game of tennis. I fell for you watching you play, though. Not me. I'm sorry. But I don't really care about you. And I can't imagine going out with you. Then let's get to know each other by dating. That's not the problem. A racket? I thought you were the manager. Uh, I'm actually going to play in the girls' tennis club. Huh? Why? Because I want to be like you. What? I was always bad at tennis, and I thought that I could never play, even if I tried, but... Watching you, I wanted to try harder. So, yeah. I see. But there's no guarantee that you're going to improve. I know, but you seem to be having so much fun, so I wanted to play too. Fun... And besides, I think it's more fun if there's a challenge, you know? Oh, sorry. I gotta go get ready for practice. Let's go on a date sometime. Huh? No, uh... I remembered after Yamakawa told me about my match. Why I started tennis. It was because it was fun. Then I started playing to win. There was no point in playing if I couldn't win. That's why tennis became boring. Fun, huh? Huh! Damn it! I lost again! You're too good, Eita! You guys are good too. You've improved the most though, Yosuke. Shut up! Get back on the court! We're going again! You're that upset? You realize that you're a finalist in the state championship, right? I don't want to hear the guy who won tell me I'm not bad! I'm going to get better than you! <laughs> I look forward to it. After hearing Yamakawa's words, I decided to try tennis again. I'm now the boys' tennis captain. Mommy is still following me around like before. Hey, Itakun, can you go with me to buy a racket? Fine. I'm sure you're going to take me even if I say no. Look at you. You're starting to figure me out. I don't want to. Mommy was part of the girls' tennis club and has been improving steadily. She's still got a ways to go, but she's much better considering she could barely serve anyone in tennis before. Hey. What? Thank you. For reminding me what the point of tennis is. Huh? I didn't do anything special. No. It's thanks to you. I think I've fallen for you. Huh? So... Can you go out with me? ada -kun. Mommy... Yes? There's always a bigger fish in sports. But I'm not going to let that get to me. Why? Because I have a lovely girlfriend who's there. Rooting for me. I'll be taking you now. What's going on? My name is Takuya Miyamoto. I'm a 26-year-old employee that you can find pretty much anywhere. Hey, Miyamoto! You better be moving things along with work. Oh, Uzao-san. Things are going well. <laughs> You're slow with work, so you better work hard. Ha ha ha. Sorry. His name is Uzao, and he's my boss. Honestly, I didn't really like him. He just forced his work onto others, and never tried to actually do anything on his own. But that didn't stop him from being rude to his employees. <sighs> he really is an annoying guy. But that doesn't change anything. I had a huge project coming up. I'm going to make sure this project goes well. Kanami-san, I have something I want to ask of you. 
What is it, takuya uh, Can you not call me that at work? Oh, sorry. It just came out. And be less casual. Sure thing. Her name is Kanemi. She's my co-worker and my girlfriend. She's kind of ditzy and a little out of it. But she was my cute girlfriend. And I was proud of her. So, what is it that you wanted with me? Oh, there are just some documents that I wanted you to gather up for me. Are you going to use it for the presentation coming up? Yeah. You are really working hard, huh? It's a pretty big project if it goes well. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. A few weeks went by. Phew. It's finally the day of the presentation. I'm so nervous. If it doesn't go well... Uh, no. No. I'm fine. I've worked hours and hours and hours on all of these documents. It'll be perfect. Huh? Where are all of my documents that I left on my desk? Hey! Miyamoto! Sir? You need to come with me to the presentation today! Wait, presentation? What? Huh? What is it? Th those are my documents! Huh? What are you talking about? I've been working on these for a few months now. No way! I know I worked on those! Well, where's your proof? Proof? Just follow me. I'll teach you a thing or two about how to give a great presentation. <laughs> He's going to try to take the credit from me! I wanted to argue and make my case immediately, but the presentation was coming up, so I didn't have the time. But this isn't acceptable, and it won't fly. He must have timed this perfectly, so that I wouldn't be able to say anything about it. How far is he going to go? Kanemi helped me with those presentations. If Kanemi corroborates my story later, I'm sure I'll... Then I decided to focus on making sure the presentation went well. Nice to meet you all! My name is Uzao. I'm going to give the presentation that I thought of this time around. What the hell are you talking about? You took the credit from me! Uzao's presentation wasn't even that good! Why would you be so negative there? You're referring to the wrong information! If you're going to take my documents, at least do it right! I was furious, but I had to quietly listen to him give his presentation. Well, my presentation, anyway. He finished giving his presentation, and it was time for questions, which led to even more problems. How did you calculate the profit margins? What are you basing these numbers on? I think it's a pretty revolutionary idea, but do big corporations stand to gain from this? Uh, 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 Miyamoto, my subordinate, will be able to answer you on the details. Speak, Miyamoto! <sighs> You're going to take my credit and then count on me? Shut up! I brought you for this! You can thank me later! Thank you, huh? Don't talk back to me! You want to ruin the presentation for me? <sighs> the presentation is on the line here. I worked months on this. <sighs> Fine. You need to do that first without complaining, you annoying bitch! <sighs> I'm going to make him pay for this later. If Kanemi helps me, you're going to be screwed! Sorry, I, Takuya Miyamoto, will be taking over to answer now. First, regarding the profit margins... <laughs> Huge success! I'm such an amazing employee! <laughs> yep. You did do a little good, so I'll give you a little bit of credit. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> <sighs> you little... You better be ready. I've got Kanemi. Your stupid little charade will- Huh? What are you talking about? Usasu-san was working on that for several months. What?! What are you talking about?! You know about how hard I worked on that project?! You even helped me work on the documents! 
I don't know all the specifics, but I think it's Yusasu-san's project. Why do you sound so friendly about him? Oh, sorry, the manager. Wait, hang on! What? I don't know what I'm hanging on for. Whatever, stop complaining. It's not a good look. Yo, I'm back! Ah, uh, you saw San. Hey, don't call me with San. Only in private, I told you. Ah, uh, all right. How was the presentation? It's only a matter of time till word gets out about how great I am. Uh, you saw San. You're so amazing. What a badass. <laughs> Thanks. What the? That was my. Wait, hang on, Kanami. What the hell is your problem? Not what's my problem. What's going on? Huh? What do you mean? What? Are you trying to start something with my girl? My girl? What? She's my girlfriend. Shut the hell up. She's my woman. What are you... Kanami, say something. Huh? I don't know what you want me to say. He's telling you the truth. What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're so confused about. We've been going out for a while now. Why? Sorry, but it can't be helped. What can't be helped? Usao-san takes me to better stores and gives me expensive presents. What? That's... <sighs> Enough! Stop yelling! Ugh! It's your fault, Takuya-kun. You should have taken me to more expensive stores and given me expensive things. Then I went to swapped over to a better man. Why am I in the wrong? You're the one who was having an affair! You need to cut it out. There's nothing more pitiful than a man crying over a lost woman. If I were you, I'd just cut it off clean. Uh, you're so bad as you saw, son. I'm not begging or anything. I'm just confused why he didn't say that she was being quiet about it this whole time. You should have just dumped me sooner. I wonder why. <laughs> huh? What is that shit-eating smirk? Wait. Did you do this to take my documents? What do you mean by take my documents? Those are my documents. Enough! Those were my- No, I've had enough of you. Those were mine. Right, Kanemi? Yeah, I've been watching you work hard every day and every night, Usao-sun. What? See? She's saying it too. You're the only person that's saying that. You understand what that means, right? What? You little... <sighs> I was upset, but there was nothing I could do about it. Just like they said, there was no proof that I had made those documents, and Uzao was the name on the whole presentation. I should have been more careful. I shouldn't have just thought that I could deal with the repercussions later, and focused on the presentation. That's how I lost the credit and my girl in one fell swoop. I only know how to deal with this by drinking- Hey! Non-alcoholic beer! I- <sighs> Hey, you're drinking too much, my guy! Shut up and bring me my non-alcoholic beer! Hey, you're only allowed to do that if you're drunk. If you do that when you're sober, it just pisses me off, so stop! Oh, uh, sorry. I'm really bad with alcohol. So I always kind of wanted to do the angry, pitiful drunk act. I mean, okay. I understand where you're coming from, but still. Welcome. I finally found you. You didn't make it easy for me. Hey, you know him, huh? You're a pretty girl. Huh? No, I don't know her. Wait. You're the lady that was at the presentation. Nice to meet you. Or I guess hello again. I'm Ayako Yamamoto. Oh. I'm Takuya Miyamoto. I know. I've been looking for you. Huh? Why me? <laughs> I wanted to make you mine. What? I know the truth, don't worry. I know that you're the real one behind that project. Uh, why? How do you know that? I can tell by watching. I have a pretty good eye for people. That's... 
I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure if you're here drinking your sorrows away, you are upset by it and couldn't control it. Can you tell me about what happened, if you don't mind? Sure. I see. That leaves a horrible taste in your mouth. I can't believe you were betrayed by your boss and your girlfriend at the same time. <sighs> yes, ma'am. But it's fine. Huh? What's fine? I'm going to take you in. Huh? Take me in? I'll pay you three times what you're making now. Come to my company. What? That's how I was recruited by Ayako-san. She's the CEO of a rapidly growing venture company. The company isn't that big yet, but I only chose the best of the best. I won't make you regret it. Ayako-san was spot on. She really did only have the brightest and finest, so they were all motivated and doing their job perfectly. There were no bosses to take your credit, and no women who thought of a man as an ATM. This is such a wonderful workplace! The company was rapidly growing, so my pay was much better too. Just like she had said when she recruited me, I was making thrice the pay as before. Then, how about this for your first project? Sure. Wait, this is my... Yeah, your project. Uh, why? Because I talked to our clients. I got it back for you. Our lawyers are top of the line. Why? Why would you do that for me? It's pretty common sense, wouldn't you think? I... I will follow you to the depths of hell. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. Oh, by the way, those two were fired after I left my old company as well. <laughs> Serves them right. They're apparently in the middle of breakup talks right now. Man, talk about a horrible situation. I don't know what happened after that. I don't really care either. I don't have time to deal with them, because my life now was fulfilling enough. Done with work? Yeah, I just finished up. All right, well, let's go for drinks then. Oh, wait, Ayako-san! Uh, what is it? We always do this. I'm never going to get used to it, though. <laughs> How cute. Uh, don't mock me! Ayako-san always teases me at every chance she gets. Say, ah. Uh... I can eat on my own. No, say, ah. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Good boy. Don't treat me like a child. You're cute, though. Here we go. What? Ayako-san? What are you doing sitting next to me? I wanted to feel your warmth. Why does she keep saying things like this? Why are you following me around like that? Did you not like it? I don't mind it. If anything, I'm happy. <laughs> I like honest ones. I'm just confused. Because I don't know why. Why? I've already quit my old job and started working under you. You don't need to talk to me like this anymore. Oh, how rude. You thought that I was a honeypot? Huh? You're not? Of course not. I didn't even invite you on board because of work either. Huh? I mean, I know that you're a great worker and all. Then why? Because I knew about you long before that presentation. Huh? I've been to your office time and time again before. I didn't know at all. <laughs> I'm sure. You were working hard without batting an eye to me. S sorry. You don't need to apologize. I fell for how hardworking you were. Uh, fell for me? Uh, but you didn't talk to me until I had my presentation. Mm, that's because... Because? Because I've never fallen for anyone at work like this. I didn't know how to approach you. Where did that girl come from? Huh? Wait. Do you not have much romantic experience? Yeah, never in my life. But you seem so experienced in everything else you do! 
What the hell? You think I'm that sleazy? No, I mean, uh, you seem so confident. That's because I'm trying to look away so you don't dislike me. I don't want to be lame at this age with no experience with men. Oh, that's too cute. Whatever. I knew that that presentation was my chance, so I closed the distance. Uh, I see. But I couldn't come up with the courage, so I was walking around the bar that you were in a few times. I was practically pacing. Huh? I you really did that? Honestly, I saw you pretending to be drunk off non-alcoholic beer, too. What? You weren't put off by that? <laughs> I thought it was cute. How much does she like me? Whatever, you're mine now. Huh? Yours as in... That was the contract. I'll pay you three times the amount as long as you're mine. I thought you meant as an employee. No, it's exactly as it sounds. Uh, well, but I, I didn't... I didn't mean it like that. What? Does it really sound that bad to you to be mine? No. I'd really love to. Uh, okay then. Great. Our relationship went well, and in two years' time, I was able to marry a big-time CEO. Every day after that felt like I was in a dream. My name is Tatsuya Kusunoki. I'm a salesman at a luxury vehicle store. Ah, I was able to make a great purchase thanks to you, Kusunoki-san. Thank you. No, no, thank you. How do you sell these cars like they're nothing, man? You have to have some kind of secret or something. I don't have a secret. If there's anything I can teach, then I just try to focus on what age group tends to like what kind of vehicle. It's all in my head. Huh. I was really good at selling cars based on data. Thanks to that, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was topping the sales records. You seem to be doing well as usual, Tatsuya-kun. Thank you, sir. I don't really want to say this, but you keep going that far, and everyone else starts to look bad. Look bad? How dare you leave a better record than me, your boss, huh? I think you lack common sense as an adult and an employee. Uh, right. One day, I was suddenly told that I would be getting transferred out. Why do I have to go to the middle of nowhere? Me! I don't know why, but the higher-ups have made their decision. It's definitely not that I really forced them to make a decision. If anything, I'm upset that you're leaving. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Just know that when you work so hard, it makes everyone else upset. He looks so happy. Don't worry, we won't miss you. <laughs> He's going to be sent off to the middle of nowhere. It's because he got on the manager's bad side. <laughs> Finally got forced out. I was sent off to a branch that had very few sales, and even fewer employees. I'm Tatsuya Kusunoki. Nice to meet you all. I'm the branch manager, Nami. I heard that you were quite the salesman at corporate. But you need to do things our way now. Work hard and learn fast. Yes, ma'am. She seems strict, but pretty. Sora-san. Yes? I want you to handle teaching him. Ma'am. My name is Sora Ayono. Let me know if there's anything that you don't understand. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. She's so relaxed and nice. I've met so many people in the city that are very aggressive. So it's a nice change of pace. I'm usually known for being pretty chill. <laughs> I see. Maybe she is pretty aggressive, but she's cute. I heard later on from my co-workers that Sora-san is two years younger than me, and the youngest in the branch. But she has a great reputation amongst the customers, and is the top saleswoman of the branch. I started going with her on our outside sales, to get a feel for how the branch operated. I think you probably sold a lot of expensive cars back at HQ, but we have a lot more reasonable prices here. Can you show me the customer list later on? 
I can kind of get a trend and figure out a tactic on my own. Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Tatsuya-kun, you start getting used to things out in the country? Yes, thanks to you. Oh, if you're free, can you carry this to the warehouse over there? Huh? All of this? Yeah. Ugh, it's covered in oil! If I carry this, my perfect suit is gonna be ruined! It was so expensive! What's wrong? Oh, nothing. You just thought, man, if I carry this, my perfect suit is going to be ruined, didn't you? She's spot on! Do you always wear expensive suits like that? I need to take care and be mindful how I present myself when I sell expensive cars. That's a great idea, but once you come here, you need to start getting used to things around here. Huh? You can use the uniform over there, so work fast. Yes, ma'am. I can't believe I go from being top salesman at corporate to this. Oh well, part of the job, I guess. I'm going to get out of this hellhole. But first, I need to get good sales. I have to try to figure out a trend and see how I can sell things effectively. I worked hard to get back into corporate. I stored all kinds of data into my head. Today's customers are going to be a husband and wife that own and operate a food place. They've been considering buying a new car from last month. Can you let me handle that customer, please? Huh? But you don't know those customers well, right? It's fine. All the data's up here. You don't have to rush so much. I know you just came over here, and you're still training. I have confidence. I'll wrap things up today. Is she afraid that I might take her credit? We're all rivals here anyway. I have to make sure that I don't show any weakness here either. Thanks to the department manager, I was kicked out of the elite career path and cynical of everything. I heard that you run a food place. How about you consider this vehicle? Um... I don't know if that's exactly what I was imagining. But if you look at our current sales, a lot of users that own and operate restaurants are interested in this type of vehicle. It's great for daily use along with carrying all kinds of food-related goods. Also, I know you're doing your best. Can we talk to Sorosan? Huh? Sorry. For what? Their age? Their job? Their budget? I was giving the perfect suggestions! Is there something missing in the data? I'm screwed! You're being dramatic. It's not a big deal. But they were fine with listening to you. Not at all with me. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say offends you. Huh? We're in the country now, and there are a lot of people that treat you like relatives and family. It's more important to spend time with those people than rely on data. Being around someone every day? I think you cared about the customers through their data, right? You genuinely were interested in what they wanted. That's true, but... I completely lost sight of what was important without paying attention. Please, cheer up. You can do the great things here. Huh? I'm rooting for you. Sora-san... I... I can't think calmly while she's this close to me. Is that her tactic? She's trying to make me less calm? She is my rival after all. There were a lot of co-workers that tried to drag me down when I was working back at corporate. Sora-san is maybe... Uh, but she's so cute! Do you have a second, Tatsuya-san? Yes? I have new customers that are considering buying a car. Would you like to handle their case? I'll try my best to support you. Why would you do that for me? Huh? You shouldn't talk to me. It's going to lead to your sales improving if you leave me alone. Why are you thinking that way? What? We're not rivals. We're co-workers. Teammates. Teammates? She was completely right. I was so into fighting at corporate that I'd forgotten something important. Then one day, one of our old customers that had purchased a vehicle from our store a few years back showed up. 
we just passed by. So we figured we'd say hello. You guys seem to be doing well, huh, newbie? Yes, sir. My name is Kusunoki. We're going to be going on a drive to a hot springs location. Hot springs? How exciting. It's been a while since we've gone anywhere, so I'm really excited. Be careful and take care. Their smiles are so beautiful. I remember now why I became a car salesman to begin with. It was to make customers smile like this. It wasn't for the promotions. After we sent off the old couple, I went to talk to new customers for a potential new car. You're totally right. How about this model? This time, I wasn't obsessed with the data. I sat down, listened to my customers, and I was able to give them suggestions based on their ideas. They loved it. More than anything, I wasn't so nervous, because I now considered Sora-san a co-worker and teammate instead of a rival. I'm glad they found their car. Their customers seem delighted as well. It's thanks to you, Sora-san. I really didn't do much. Work is so much fun when I'm with Sora-san. I can just relax and be me. Hmm? Is that... It's those two from earlier. I wonder if something's wrong. Is everything alright? Oh! Sora-san! Kusunoki-san! Did your car break down? Yeah, it just suddenly stopped moving. It actually wasn't doing too well recently. It's been several years since we bought it, so... I thought it would be fine since it still drove, but... Figures it stops moving today of all days. Looks like we have to give up on our hot springs trip. Did you want me to call roadside service for you? Can you do that for us? Hang on a second. It's going to take a while for roadside assistance to show up. Then your trip is going to be ruined. But... Can I take a look? Huh? You can fix cars? I used to love cars. I used to be called a grease monkey with how dirty I was. I know my basics. Excuse me. Ah! You're going to get dirty! It's fine. I can just get my clothes cleaned. But... I want you two to be able to go on your trip. I would be happy for you to be able to make memories in our car. Tatsuya-san. I did my best to troubleshoot and got covered in grime. But I was able to fix up the car in a short time. Phew! That should do it. You really saved our butts. Now we can go to the hot springs like we planned. Thank you so much. It's really okay. They smiled at me and kept thanking me before leaving. Man, I'm covered in dirt. But it was such a cool thing that you did. Huh? Really? What happened to you? Well... <laughs> huh? Look at you go! Great job! Sorosan explained everything that happened, and the normally strict branch manager seemed to calm down slightly. You look much better now than that prissy suit. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, no fear, ma'am. I already have dibs. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't... Whatever. You can't call dibs. Ah! Are you are after him! Uh, guys, calm down! They started talking to me more often. Tatsuya-kun, hey -ya. Hello, ma'am. I heard you made another sale? Yes, ma'am. Our other customers made a referral to us. You seem to be working hard. I'll have to think of a treat. A treat? There's a really nice store I'd like to go to. I'll take you with me. That would be an honor. Huh? Really? I didn't realize that it would go this well. I'm so lucky. Of course. Oh. You dropped your phone. Hmm? D did you see something? How to make a younger man fall for you? Huh? Don't look at my phone. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. This is just an ad, okay? I must have just accidentally opened that page when I dropped my phone. You know how there are a lot of matching apps and stuff. And these are all over the place right now. Right. <laughs> I've never heard or seen an ad like that. A week flew by. Today is your last day of training, huh? Yeah. 
Are you a little sad? Nah, just joking. I am, actually. Huh? I wish I could... be with you more. Tatsuya-san. You look even better than before, Tatsuya-kun. Really? Thank you. You seem much more relaxed. You're enjoying your job. Or... in love? Huh? In love? Don't hide it from me. You like Sora, right? I can tell by looking at you every day. No, I, uh... Fine. I'll back off this time, but make sure you take good care of her. She's a really good girl. Ma'am. Then one day, my ex-boss Seko Sugi showed up. What are you doing here? I thought you'd be upset from being sent off to the middle of nowhere, so I decided to pay you a visit. <laughs> Thanks, but you don't need to worry. You don't have to lie like that. If you apologize, I might even take you back to corporate. Huh? What do you say? No thank you. What? I'm okay with where I am now. Uh, uh, please don't say that! Come back! What are you talking about? You're the one who told me I was in the way of things. Work has just not been going well without you! Sounds like a personal problem. We're not letting him leave! Yeah, he hasn't even got a notice of transfer or anything. Please, I'm begging you! From what I hear, he asked the higher-ups to transfer me back to corporate. But they were upset that he was just trying to take the easy way out. So they aren't sure if he's suited in his managerial position. If you say that you want to come back even a little bit, the higher-ups will be more willing. Please, I'm begging you to come back to the best thing for your career. It's not a bad story. Please, go away. I'm not going to let you use me. We heard everything that has happened so far. He's not just some tool for your disposal. That's right. A boss who only sees his employees as numbers is a horrible boss. Uh... He wasn't able to do anything. So he ended up just leaving. Afterwards, he had to take responsibility for the mess. And he was demoted to regular employee. I was so happy to hear that you wanted to stay here. I would much rather be here with you than work for that horrible boss again. Huh? I feel much more fulfilled working at this current job than when I worked at my old corporate job. Thank you so much. You are the reason that I was able to tell that I do this work because I want to bring smiles to people's faces, not compete with others. Oh. But really, I want to see you smile the most. Me? I noticed that I couldn't stop thinking about you, and... Man, the words don't flow now like they do when I'm doing my sales pitch. What I'm trying to say is, I like you. Please be by my side. Yes, I'd love to. I love seeing how hard you work, and I've fallen for you even more too. Really? Yes, I think I'll keep falling for you too. I won't lose in that competition! Maybe it wasn't the best career move to stay here, but there was a certain warmth between people here. I thought that getting promotions was all that mattered, but I'm so happy and blessed to be surrounded by smiles and laughter by my friends and customers now. Thank you for watching all the way to the end! Hope you enjoyed today's episode! And don't forget to check out our other episodes too! According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching! See you next time!